There you are, Theo. Honestly, let Oh, there you are, Theo. Honestly, let your own dream. Do you even know where you are? Ah, oh, well, it's time we got you sorted out with these cards. Come on now, we haven't got all day. Oh, sorry about that. Just give that rewind button a tap and we'll see if we can't start walking around things instead of into them. If you ever find yourself in a pickle, just remember that you can take a step back and try something else. Now, give these a whirl and see where they get you. There you go. Remember, Theo, you can look around at any time. What's that just there? Maybe you should give it a peek. Hum. I wonder what that's doing sitting around here. Maybe you should keep your eyes open for other interesting things. You never know what you'll find. Well, we're done here. Go on, leap into your family's arms. Lauren and Nathaniel are waiting. unceremoniously by a sudden noise, our hero Theo felt that, if he was to be kept awake, he deserved to know why. from the kitchen, Theo wondered if he had really moved from his bed just to listen to some tiff. serious than he thought. The kitchen seemed normal. Except, what was that he could see across the room? He had to take a closer look. on the floor. But that was it. No gun. Nothing at all. Was someone else here? As he turned away, Theo could only think about one thing. Someone was surely responsible for this. And he had to know who. Of 
cautiously examining the hallway, Fear saw no signs of the killer. Instead, he found a path of destruction carved through strange machines before him. into the room Theo moved, the more he realized that something was amiss. That bright red light hadn't always been there, had it? Although he could not shake the image of his departed owners, Theo suddenly found himself somewhere very different indeed. However, before he could appreciate his new surroundings, he found his attention drawn to the glowing hot wall of energy in front of him. Faced with something so clearly hazardous, he thought it might be wise to take a moment to think before diving headlong into oblivion. What a pleasant surprise. After his daring maneuver, Fear found that he was still alive. Ah! Still somewhat tense from his previous trial, Fear was immensely relieved to find no deadly lasers when he emerged from the vent. On the other hand, he was instead faced with a functional, frantic, and quite soggy security robot. As he skirted by the distracted machine, Theo found himself eyeing the whole riddled aquarium. Either someone was stalking the halls, shooting at water features, or the security needed to work on their aim. Though the appeal of fresh fish was enticing, it was offset by the risk of an unexpected bath. Rather than contemplate such a terrible fate any further, Theo decided to make a quick exit. Advancing cautiously, Theo was encouraged by the sight of another aquarium, this time with the water safely inside, not threatening to unpleasantly dampen his fur. There was no time to fish, however, as security appeared to be taking its job a touch more seriously. Although Theo could be easily distracted, he knew when it was time to focus. Tearing his attention away from the unattainable, Theo delicately stepped between the broken remains of some very expensive-looking showpieces. 
Despite his lack of any understanding of fine art, he was disgusted by the wanton destruction before him. successfully weaved past the searching eyes of the guard, he was overjoyed to see that he could just follow the killer through a door, instead of crawling through the ventilation like a rodent. Theo cast his eyes about the grandiose room, the impressive decor marred by the smoking wreckage of robotic guards. Clearly, someone with no respect for interior design had been this way. However, hanging over the remains of a reception desk, Theo spotted something that took his interest. Bright Paw Industries. Although this place was impressive, Theo knew he had precious little time to admire it. Theo had many questions, but lollygagging wouldn't answer any of them. Despite the damage, the underlying class of this bright poor establishment was clear. The placement of several large aquariums, brimming with exotic fish, was an inspired design choice that Theo could respect. the room, breathing in the intoxicating fragrance of fish, while taking care to avoid the remaining hazards. As he did, his mind began to wander. Why was a place like this situated beneath his home? And more importantly, why had these fishy treats not been brought to his attention before? At first glance, it appeared that Theo had stumbled into a storage room for broken glass. Except there were other items in the glittering fragments. Grenades? Missiles? An umbrella? Theo padded behind the guard, pondering his discoveries. A hidden underground facility, robotic security, and now rooms filled with odd weapons. What on earth was this place? Looking back, Theo considered that it was perhaps unwise to leave such destructive toys lying around. On the other hand, there was no way someone would leave live explosives on display. Hmm, probably best to ignore it and hurry on.
Theo contemplated the ruins of the once magnificent boardroom, which had been reduced to little more than burnt mahogany by some kind of explosion. Apparently, the killer had needed to clear the room in a hurry. But why? Oh, perhaps those lasers were a motivator. With the wall of death slowly advancing, Theo scrambled for a plan to slip by. There, across the room, a shattered glass wall offering a glimpse of escape. Deftly avoiding glass with his paws, Theo found his eyes drawn to a large portrait on the wall. Was that Nathaniel? As he stood, he wondered, how much of all this was his master responsible for? Someone had clearly been rifling through the deliveries recently, though they didn't seem to have found what they were looking for. Theo had apparently added his name to the waiting list. Obviously, the killer had been looting the facility, and it was unlikely that they planned to use volatile weaponry to spread peace and joy. Being a conscientious cat, Theo knew it fell to him to put a stop to the killer's nefarious activities. Finding himself inside a warehouse, the towering stacks of crates gave Theo some measure of hope. Perhaps the killer would try to search the top of an unstable pile and fall to their doom. Lost in daydreams of the killer being buried alive, Theo stepped blindly forwards onto a conveyor belt, promptly shuffling him away from his happy thoughts. <sighs> Perhaps he should pay more attention to where he's going. Perhaps it was unlikely that the killer would be ended by fallen cargo, but the belts leading into the dark and deadly machinery seemed to promise an untimely demise. Spotting a bundle under some nearby crates, it appeared Theo's wishes had been heard. However, he tempered his excitement until he could get a closer look.
nephew tempered his excitement, he didn't lose it. Stepping over a broken belt with great care, he was disappointed to discover not a body, but simply several empty crates bearing the label High Explosive. The empty crates led Theo to conclude three things. The killer had found what they were looking for, they were definitely up to something, and Theo's work was not yet done. He moved on with the hope that the killer's loot would be enough to slow them down. pondered the erratic crusade of the robots as they fired at non-existent threats. Perhaps the killer had just passed through? The belt, unable to tell the difference between a cat and a crate, and lacking the desire to learn, moved him once again as it would any other box. Hmm. As he headed for the door, Theo couldn't shake the feeling that the strange blue algae was creeping steadily across the wall behind him. Oh well, it was probably harmless. Whoever Theo was following had certainly spooked these poor robots who were all consumed by blind panic. As he carefully padded forwards, avoiding lasers, Fear noticed the most curious drawing etched into the wall. But why would a killer stop to doodle? Fear couldn't stop thinking about the bizarre graffiti he kept seeing. It was unlikely the killer was taking the time for artistic creativity. Was someone else in the facility? As he stepped into the room, Theo found his racing mind halted by yet another drawing of a slightly more significant scale. Theo tried his best to... ...examine the etching, but found it devoid of artistic value. Thank you. 
perhaps, he thought as he carried on. The murderer was simply an awful artist. Whatever it was, the mural failed to hold Theo's interest long enough for any meaning to be gleaned. As he began to move away, Theo couldn't help but wonder who would put so much effort into these acts of vandalism. Was it maybe some kind of poorly drawn calling card? According to the booming sounds of heavy industry and the massive shipping containers, Theo had found himself in some kind of loading station. was caught by something colourful and clearly out of place hanging from a rail across the room. A discarded tie. Was this some kind of taunt? It was becoming clear to Theo that the large boxes wouldn't just wait for him to cross, so he quickened his pace towards the infuriating clue. Hmm. Clearly, the killer had left this tie to send a message, but in doing so, they had left a trail for Theo to follow. Perhaps he'd get the better of them yet. Though he was intrigued by the surprisingly train waiting before him. On the other side of the tracks, a curious hole in the wall drew his eye. Perhaps the killer had made their own exit. Stepping onto the train, Theo glanced towards his goal and noticed a strangely carefree-looking robot bumbling around near a control panel. Hopefully this one wasn't a threat. The train began to quake, and Theo couldn't react fast enough to leap off. He had better find something to hold on to. prepared for the sudden velocity and found his current predicament extremely upsetting. Luckily, he just needed to hold on until the train looped back to the station.
Marcus is past him, Theo pressed himself against the train and vowed to dedicate the rest of the ride to keeping his eyes open for low-flying objects of feline destruction. was quite unprepared for the sudden velocity and found his current predicament extremely upsetting. Luckily, he just needed to hold on until the train looped back to the station.
He just has to hold on a little longer! Theo staggered off the train quickly. Driven by his newfound appreciation for solid ground and the terrible fear that it might suddenly set off again. Just ahead of him, he could see that bloody robot that had sent the train off in the first place. As he followed the irritating machine through the jagged opening in the wall, Theo hoped that he wouldn't ever have to lay eyes on it again. Theo eyed his new surroundings curiously, noting the piles of unused tiles and pipes. Across what little floor existed, there was a sharp drop from which a blinding light and tremendous heat emanated. Besides this abyss sat... Ugh, oh, that bloody robot. Theo focused on the path ahead, choosing to politely ignore the annoyance in the room. A shifting wall of energy was barring his progress. Perhaps turning off that strange machine would help. With the barrier successfully disabled, Theo was happy to move on and leave that robotic liability behind. Surely the killer couldn't be too far now. Entering another area with limited flooring, Theo wondered why all of these rooms seemed so unfinished. Maybe the... Ugh. It was starting to look like Theo might have a tail. Uh, no, no pun intended. Oh! Apparently, Theo's new friend had some value after all. As the oblivious robot scampered over an obvious switch, Theo braced for the consequences. When none presented themselves, he decided to stay on alert. There was no way he was safe while that machine was bumping into things. Contemplating the state of the room ahead, Theo reluctantly accepted that perhaps the robot's help might be necessary.